Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Pisces. Hello, Pisces. Oh, wow. The first card, big happy changes. Within the next few months. So within the next few months, you have big happy changes coming. It says here, you're ready. All right. Improving health. Opportunity. No need to worry. Abundance. Ask your angels. Okay. Recovery. Again, within the next few months. All right. So, I feel already that underneath this very um, strong message here is fear. You are hesitant about doing something. Spirit is saying, though, that you're ready. You could be with the recovery card being here. Um, you could be mentally exhausted. Okay. You could feel like you are very, very tired. You don't, you're struggling with, with keeping, keeping something up right now. But you have big change, big happy changes. It's saying that you're ready. You could be forcing yourself right now to stay in some type of toxic situation, environment, friendship, or relationship, um, or even just a mindset. This is your opportunity to go forward in your life and have abundance. You are needing to connect more with your higher self, your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors to make sure that they are able to assist you in healing your your heart, your mind, your body. But you need to be more assertive and move towards this new beginning here. There's a very strong message here about you moving away from the past. Um, let me see something here really quick. There's some there's some healing here because you're going into um, a new cycle here where there's going to be more opportunities and abundance. I'm seeing um, a lot of happiness, especially like in your social life. You're ready. Some of you could deal with a bit of imposter syndrome. You could be um, very much a perfectionist. You may not really want to go out, be seen, be heard that much. The spirit is saying now, no, now is the time you're ready. You need to ask your angels perhaps exactly what you need to do or how to do it, but you need to do that. So you have the two cards that just came out are pride and rejection. All right. So you need to take more pride in yourself. Okay. Some of you, you feel like you've been rejected so many times in life that you're failing right now to take pride in yourself. This is an ongoing cycle of you battling with yourself. Okay. Take off your mask. Take off your mask. You're a very, very beautiful person, whoever I'm talking to. You need to take a, a, a ride on the wild side. This really isn't being wild as in doing anything crazy, but it's nothing wrong with you choosing now to be more adventurous. Um, you're needing to get out of this cycle of, of being fearful of abandonment, rejection, or anything like that. Because as I said before, what this is, is it's keeping you in a karmic cycle of you not being your true authentic self. This will put you in a victim mentality of always feeling like, well, whoa, it's me. I always get the short end of the stick. Nothing ever goes my way. And as a result of that, you are manifesting blockages in your life. Um, it's not always just the people around us that keep us stuck. Sometimes it's just our mindset that comes from our conditioning. So make sure that you are um, mindful of the, the subconscious blockages that you may have. A lot in your life is supposed to change within the next few months, but you are needing to um, recover, okay? There's something here where you may be wondering if you need to compromise. You need to have a, more pride in yourself. I'm not meaning from a place of ego, but I'm saying actually being proud of who you are, where you come from, and what you have already accomplished, expressing more gratitude in your life in order to bring in happy changes. You know, I'm hearing scared money doesn't make money. Some of you, you have to understand everything is energy. Okay, if you don't put something out, you're not going to receive it. If you don't go out, you're not going to become a social butterfly. If you don't um, ever donate money, if you don't offer anything, if you or whatever, you can't expect huge lump sums of money to come in. You have to, um, you have to sow some seeds here and, you know, if you want a platform, if you want to be seen or heard, you have to you have to allow yourself to be seen and heard. You have to get started. There's something here that you're being urged to start or to create here. All right. You need to ask your angels. Yeah. I just saw the Hierophant and the Six of Swords. Wow. And then here's a Chariot and the Hermit. So this has a lot to do with you being spiritually guided to do something with the Hierophant, the Hermit and 
the um, chariot here. So this is all about you finding your light. The Hierophant definitely um, represents someone being like a spiritual leader. This is you um, getting more into religion, your spiritual journey. This is you um, assessing and evaluating your life. Um, looking at your own test trials and tribulations, you sharing your testimony, you allowing yourself to really find the light within yourself and, and to light up your own path. But for, for many of you, it's time for you to become more of a, of a leader or a guide to help other people to kind of tap into their light as well. Okay, with that, that hermit being there, maybe you studied something for a very long time. Some of you could be going to... Um, school to be some type of coach or I don't know, but you're moving into a lot of emotional uh, fulfilling situations, whether this is you choosing to relocate, um, move it. It's simple things. You moving the furniture around in your home, you relocating, you traveling, taking a trip. Um, love is being offered to you. This could be a new friendship for some of you. You could meet someone on your journey. You could meet someone while traveling. Okay. Or um, start communicating with someone at a distance. I'm saying for some of you being in a lot of like Zoom calls right now where you may be talking to someone who possibly is not in your area, but they are really helping you on your journey. There's some type of path or journey that you're you're about to embark upon and I think it's something good for you. This could be you choosing to go back to school or learning something. This could be for some of you um, taking some type of course to help you with your spiritual practices. It's something here that you want to learn and I feel like it's something good for you. It's an opportunity to create more abundance, all right? If you feel like you have a lot of different things on your mind, you need to get in the habit of praying, meditating, and asking God, the Most High, your angels, and your ancestors to help you, to assist you in making certain decisions. Some of you, your mind is very scattered. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. This is, this is something related to work. Mastery. Whatever this opportunity is, it's going to bring a great deal of abundance for you. The King of Pentacles, for some of you, it is going to require that you move, okay? This could be you moving away from a job, moving away from a group, moving away from a particular um, place here. But a move is going to bring about a lot of positive changes for you, okay? But you're going to have to look at this as a Queen of Swords here, Um be willing to detach. You're going to have to detach from what is known. For some of you, it's time for you to move away from the place where you grew up. For some of you, it's time for you to move away from a person that you may share children with. Okay? It's time for you to heal your inner child. You're becoming enlightened about something, but the sun card also is a card of a yes. It's it's a happy, happy outcome or beginning here. The five of swords, something has left you feeling defeated. Um. And it could have been something from your past where you just didn't receive. Now we're tapping into some of this trauma here. The five of swords, three of swords, six of pentacles, the six of cups, and the nine of swords. Something from your past um, could have had something to do with um, power, structure, stability, either in your home with a, a masculine, a father figure, or even in your job. You haven't felt seen, heard, recognized, or you haven't received certain rewards here with the six of pentacles it's always been some type of one-sided situation here you've been in a cycle of hiding who you truly are because you've been rejected the most when you were authentic by a person that perhaps you put placed on a pedestal or you had a lot of respect for this could have been a friend family member lover boss or whomever this is something most likely from your past that it still really really bothers you and you're needing to free yourself from this in order to have wish fulfillment because right now you have big happy changes coming in but it looks like you're almost struggling to allow yourself to be a vibrational match for that because there's still something that really haunts you about something or someone from your past and again this has something to do with your beauty or rejection for some of you you know i don't know it could be some type of body image issues you could just feel like it's unseen unheard um someone could have told you that you shouldn't be spiritual you find a lot of beauty in doing something that could be considered a bit taboo and, and other people may look at you like you're being a wild child in some type of way but you have dreams about something that you would like to do okay dreams and home are here and then self-sabotage and hole in the soul selling out inner child yeah Hole in the soul, selling out an inner child. So as I said before, there's something here in the past that has rejected. You felt rejected and abandoned. As a result of that, you have a hole in the soul. Um, 
you don't take as much pride in yourself or in your work, something that you work hard on trying to master. Because I feel like at a very, very tender age or in a time in your life where you really, really needed or you desired support um, due to, you know, some, th this is codependency in some way. Seeking the approval of a particular person in your life, it has shaped and formed how you see yourself and just life overall. Selling out here, this is saying that most likely due to an inner child issue, you have been settling for relationships, for jobs, and other things in your life that really were not in alignment with who you truly are as a person, but it provided you with some sense of security in that particular season of your life. And so now when it comes to your dreams, because of what you learned growing up in your home, so for some of you, whatever you saw in your home, Home, that was your representation that's what kind of it molded you it conditioned you what you saw in your home either you're trying to recreate that or you're trying to run away from that but as a result of you either trying to recreate what you saw in your home or trying to avoid recreating what you saw in your home based on this hole in the soul that you have you're not actually embracing your own dreams you're still too caught up on the wounding that happened you're needing to move away from that because when it comes to your dreams, what you're being, what you're doing is you're sabotaging your own dreams because so much of you is still fueled by something from your past. Some of you, you have a lot of pride in a family dynamic and what you may come to realize very soon if you haven't already is that whatever you grew up being taught was the way, perhaps is not the way not for your life anyway you've been in a cycle where things in your life you're constantly being rejected because your mindset you've been conditioned to think that life or relationships or friendships love it's supposed to be a certain way because of what you saw in your home that's not actually adding up or or putting you in alignment for what you want okay so you're going to have to have the strength and courage now to move out of whatever this box it is that you put yourself in. Yeah, there's something here that you have to end in order for you to have your own transformation. Okay, there was too many cards. But I see the Ten of Wands, I see the Five of Wands, and here's the Ten of Swords. So it just lets me know that there's something here that has been hidden, some type of illusion here with something that you've invested a lot in, perhaps again with your family or how you see money, um, that has had you stuck at a crossroads here. You could be carrying a lot of burdens. Again, this may, may have a lot to do with partnerships. Um, some of you, maybe you didn't see the healthiest partnerships growing up or around you you could have gone through a really bad breakup or divorce this this inner conflict though has affected how you collaborate and how you team up and how you even co-create with the divine okay because i feel like something has kind of hushed you up like your strength for some reason lately when i've been saying this strength card it's coming off it's not negative but there's a need for you to understand that um you know, strong people need help too. But when you're a very strong person, I feel like you need to be mindful of who you get help from. Because oftentimes, we will go to what is familiar for help or for comfort, not understanding that whoever it is that you may be going to for help or for comfort or support is someone that's actually trying to tame the beast within you, that's actually needed for you to go out and have like these new opportunities and these big happy changes you need to be mindful of who you're taking advice from okay because of certain people around you are giving you advice and they don't understand your mindset so you can have certain people who have like a lack mentality or a poverty mindset if you're a dreamer if you're goal oriented you want to start a billion dollar business you can't go and talk to someone who's never um, made six figures in their business about your dreams or your goals. They don't know how to coach you, you know? Um, so some of you, that's something that you need to be mindful of. Also too, just even with family, I know it's, that's a, a real sore spot for a lot of people. Some of you, you're meant to carry your family. You're meant to create wealth, abundance, and other things within your family. Sometimes you have to understand the importance of you leaving the nest because the mindset of your family members, your friends, or lovers, 
it's not going to promote growth in your life. Sometimes you have to leave and then go back. Don't be afraid to leave. There's a lot of energy out here about moving. Do not be afraid to move away from people or places or situations for you to improve your life. Spirit is saying you're ready. There's an opportunity that's knocking on your door for you to have abundance and big happy changes. But if you sit back and you keep trying to consider your spouse, your friends, your family, or whomever, it's not. It's going to block you. Some people honestly even consider their their children in an unhealthy way because some people they refuse to leave a relationship because of children even though that relationship obviously which is your foundation is holding you back you're staying in an unstable like a an unstable foundation that's full of cracks in it when you have an opportunity to start at ground zero and build a firm foundation that will stand the test of time. So just, you know, assess and evaluate in your life. What are you holding on to that needs to be removed? We do have a full moon that's coming up in three days. The full moon, I believe, is in Gemini. So um, how you communicate, I feel like right now you're needing to put boundaries up. You you don't need to be afraid to tell people that, hey, I'm I'm tired of you disappointing me. I'm tired of you putting certain things in my, in my mind here when it comes to what you're working on some of you when you don't when something doesn't work out you may have the type of person around you that's like you know i told you so get rid of the naysayers and the i told you so people and you also need to be mindful not to talk yourself out of things as well because there is an opportunity here the ace of pentacles yeah so gemini is of course like you would think the lovers, the twins, the, I feel like this is you embracing your own duality. Um, the lovers, even in the tarot deck, it represents a choice. You have a choice now to move in a different direction, to choose something in your life that's going to bring you happiness and abundance and allow you to have more peace. You really are going to have to be mindful of how you communicate. Earlier, I think we saw, um, did I see the emperor card? I saw the emperor maybe in the pre-shuffle. But it's like you need to have that power structure, that discipline, and that commitment to yourself at this time. It, Mars is in retrograde, so some of you could be going back. And like I said, you're dealing, you're trying to heal issues with masculines in your life as well as healing your own masculine energy. So as some, sometimes you may feel like you don't want to do anything and then other the next day it's like you're ready to just you know, take over the world. You're needing to balance that energy. But if there's something from your past that you need to release, you know, whether you can talk to a person that hurt you from the past or not, just confront the situation within yourself and deal with it so that you can have space to receive like this blessing that's coming for you because it is a blessing that's coming in for you. The Knight of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles and here is the Page of Pentacles. So for some of you, this is love coming towards you. For some of you, this is an offer or opportunity that will affect, um, affect like your finances, your overall stability and security. But it it is just you know, a divine gift here. It's something that you can see, you can touch it, you can feel it, you can hold it, you can grow, you can build this. And this is your karmic justice, but you have to be willing to take a leap of faith to move on into this victory and success, the six of wands, four of wands. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. But the, the thing about it is you, you are being forced right now to take a quick decision you're gonna have to be more daring i feel like some of you you're planners you move slowly the knight of swords is here saying no you need to take action right now you need to quickly communicate whatever your truth is say what you need to say you know if a person comes to you with some bs you need to be quick to pull your sword out and say no i will not deal with that also for some of you i'm getting something here about negotiations your strongest tool of negotiation is you being willing to walk away if somebody does not want to give you what you need what you want you take pride in yourself and you be willing to to walk away don't fold that's the choice that you have to make now to be in your own life purpose and your soul contract to go towards what you want it's too many people trying to tell you what you can't have because people are watching you in hopes that you will be out in the cold Walk away from what doesn't serve you. Something strong here about negotiation. So I don't know. For some of you, there's um, something here with a legal situation with this justice card being here. Like I said, you have to be willing to walk away. 
If they don't, if if the numbers don't make sense at the table, you walk away, and you have enough strength, courage, and confidence, and pride in yourself to know that you are the one with the dreams, the visions, and if this doesn't add up for you, then there's something better for you. But do not fold. Yeah, something here is not for you. Could be a relationship, a partnership, whether it's romantic, business, or whatever. This is truth be told. You have a higher power that's coming in with you now, letting you know, don't be rushed into a decision, but also don't, don't take too much time to make certain decisions for yourself. Mending is here. Hmm. Mending and regeneration. Something here is coming back to some of you with serendipity here or something just it had to be. It's like something had to be broken. It's, this is a real test of faith here. It almost looks like um, something in your life is going to look like it's failing, like it's not working out for you. You may be losing patience here because you, you're constantly mending. You're trying to heal. You're trying to get something back, you know, on track here. But serendipity is here, so it's saying everything happens for a reason. Something had to be torn down so that it could be, you know, rebuilt or a, a path had to be cleared for you to co-create. Something in here is not what you what you think it is with all that glitters. And I feel like deep down inside, you know that something is going to bring you some type of chaos or conflict. You've already imagined this and... You're needing to be willing now to uh, a change in the wind, quickly make a decision because it's like if you go along to just, if you play along to get along right now, you're going to get into a situation that's going to actually have you stuck. So be mindful of traps, okay? Be mindful. Now, the fates is here in soulmate. So for some of you, if this is a relationship, it's like you have a very beautiful connection either in your life or about to come into your life. You have someone that is going to try to sneak in to block that. This could be someone from your past. It could be a friend, a family member, whomever. There is some type of interference here. So it's like new levels, new devil. Something is going to test you. You need to sit back, pray, meditate, breathe. And really look within to see what is the truth in this situation. Round and round. Yeah, something here is karmic. Higher power. Something here is karmic and it's meant to teach you a lesson. It's meant to teach you a lesson on understanding that something is not for you. This group of people is not for you. This job is not for you. Their particular family member is not for you. Their friendship is not for you. TikTok, and I feel like right now time is of the essence. You feel some of you is a decision now where you feel rushed. You feel rushed, and what you really need to do is take time out to mend. You need to heal yourself because if you take the um the right time out to really heal yourself, you're going and, and regenerate. You're going to see that something happened exactly how it was supposed to happen so that you could see the truth and become poised for a loyal heart. So what this is, honestly, is there's a, a karmic cycle here. Um that has changed your mindset it's challenging right now because you're going into a new cycle where you can't take this type of mindset with you you're coming out of a cycle of doing things based off of survival and you selling out because of your own wounding and so you going into a cycle of your life where you get to be wild, you get to create something beautiful, and you get to have pride in yourself. You you need to check your, your mindset about something because something here is still trying to convince you that it's for you. And it's not because you're out of a cycle. So you have karmic energies that are still trying to test you to see, do you really want this new cycle? Whatever you went through with whomever you went through something with or wherever you went through the, the problems on a job or whatever, it was to, to create an opportunity for you to be very happy and to go towards a loyal heart. So for some of you, this is definitely a situation with love. You've had someone that perhaps you really, really, really wanted to be with and it didn't work out, okay? Okay. It was to pre just to prepare you for something better. And I feel you're ready. Poised is here. Poised and you're ready for big happy changes. Look at this. Big happy changes. Happy, happy.
poised. You're ready. You're ready for something now. You've learned the lessons here. It's time to go. It's time to leave this neighborhood. It's time to leave this job. It's time to leave this family. It's time to stop talking to that friend. Yeah, and this, this needs to be communicated to this community. This friend group, this lover, whomever, you need to say clearly, I'm done with this. I don't want to be here. I won't be here. No, like, observe the fact that this is a never-ending story that keeps you stuck. You, you're going to have to stand up for yourself here and, and let someone know. Yeah, taking action, yang. You may have to really stand up to a masculine energy, and that's going to require, whether you're male or female, that you be in your in your own masculine energy and let someone know, I'm coming out of the dark and I'm going into the light. I'm not going to allow the situation with you to have a hold on me anymore. Whether this is you talking to your own father, an uncle, a boss, a lover, or whomever, you're going to have to get in that masculine energy so that you're able to actually receive what's for you there's something blocking you there's a fork in the road here yeah because there's something here is an illusion your perception about something is is distorted probably because of what you saw at some point in your home in your family all that glitters is in gold and whatever this situation is and you know that Whoever this reading, you know this, you know for a sure fact something here, as much of a hold that it has on you, as much hope as you have for this situation, you just know it's not for you. And it's time now for you to go ahead and take a leap of faith. Yeah, because this is the four of pentacles. It's like you're giving to a situation and you're just not getting out of it what you want. Some of you could be working really, really hard and you know you're not being paid what, what you're worth. You're putting everything into a relationship and there's no reciprocity. You're going to have to <laughs> take a leap of faith. Some of you, you need to listen to your heart. Some of you, you need to listen to your mind because I don't think your heart and mind are in sync here. They're, your heart and mind are telling you to do something different. You need to do what's going to bring you peace. Yeah, because here's the Ten of Wands. You're overworked and burdened. Some of you definitely, like, you're being completely overworked at your job. And you, you're going to have to stop trying to please people. Somebody may be trying to convince you that by you working overtime and doing all of this extra work, you're going to receive some type of rewards and recognition, but you're not. You've been waiting on this promotion or whatever for the longest, and you're not getting it, and then you're unhappy. So because you're unhappy, because you're working so hard, I'm seeing a lot of, I'm seeing somebody get off very late. I'm seeing, I'm literally hearing three to 11. So some of you may work like a shift where you work evenings three until 11, you sleep all day and then you go to work. You're not getting what you want. And then they tell you to work OT, overtime. This is what I'm hearing. You're working on the weekends. So you're working all of your evenings and your weekends. It's not allowing you to have any type of happy changes. Opportunities are passed you by because when the world is 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 awake and everything is moving, you're asleep, and you're you're pretty much slaving at this job, and it's not it's not benefiting you at all. For some of you, you know, in a relationship, you and someone, you may work different shifts. There's no intimacy or anything. You and this person, you're just passing by. This it really is just an arrangement. You guys are sharing space. You're paying bills together and you know you're completely on. You, it makes you sick to see this person. You need to recover. Ask your angels what you need to do. But some of you, you really need to figure out what are you going to do to create more abundance in your life so that you can move on. Yeah, six of Michael. This is a six of swords. It's like you're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. But you're needing to move. Some of you definitely, you, you may want to relocate or you need to take a trip or something. But you need to get out of this chaotic environment that you're in. The lovers, see? You have to make a choice and it has to be based on the heart. Like, what do you truly, truly want to do? And here's the freaking Ten of Cups. It's beautiful. So you have an option now to go towards these big, happy changes. Your life could be very different within the next few months. Okay, and look, oh my gosh, this says compromise, right? 
And then here we have no and no. Choose a new direction. Communicate clearly. Let go within the next few weeks. Take action. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Something just made me look. So if someone, I told you, your strongest negotiation tool is you walking away. There's something here you don't need to be willing to compromise at all. Not in this situation. You have no. This is saying hell no. Absolutely not. There's no way. You need to just like ditch whatever this is. It's an it's a absolute no. And this is something that may happen in the next few weeks. So someone on your job could ask you to do something. You could have a lover, a family member, someone that may ask you to do something. And you need to not fear letting go. Spirit is saying you need to choose a new direction. Okay, because your life is meant to be very, very different within the next few months or a year from now. You need to improve your health and have more helpful people around you. The people that are around you right now, they are draining you. They're sucking the life out of you. So you need to communicate clearly by saying no, letting people know you're choosing a new direction and um, taking a, taking action to move in a different place. Some of you, you want to move or relocate and somebody is wanting to move with you. You need to say no. And I feel like there's a there's an, an opportunity for you to go somewhere different. And someone is trying to paint this picture like, oh, it's going to be so helpful for them to be there. That's codependency. You need to be willing to say, no, I want to move alone. Some of you, um, I don't I'm getting very specific stuff right now. Some of you are in a relationship. And you could be struggling a little bit financially. Someone is saying, hey, we should move in together. You know, you don't want to marry that person. Do not move in with that person. Because before you know it, that situation is going to turn for the worst and you're going to set yourself back another year or because it, it's saying a year from now, a lease agreement or something like that is a year. Most times do not. You need to make a choice to go towards what's truly going to make you happy. The sun. Dang. Okay. You have the lovers, the ten of cups, the sun, and here is the wheel. And this is the three of wands and the magician. This is you manifesting like the life that you've always wanted. But your commitment is being tested. You have a big test coming in here. Some of you, it's like you're about to meet the love of your life. And I promise you, you're going to have an ex. That's going to come in and ask you, hey, do you, you know, take a trip with me or something. And I'm saying some of you, you may take a trip with this person. And I'm literally saying I'm saying two situations. Some of you could take a trip with someone. You could end up pregnant. Some of you could take a trip with someone and there could be some type of run in with the law. It's, it's something big here. It's like if you take a wrong step right now, you should right now, you should be afraid to take a wrong step. I'm, I'm just being honest. Because everything that you want is currently on the line. I mean, everything. Like the life that you've been trying to manifest is on my, some of you in the workplace, very specific message. Some of you, you have a person, they're telling you that they're looking out for you at work. You need to do everything by the book right now. You know, you can be in a, in a job and someone tells you, you know, oh, you don't have to report that or, you know, oh, you can clock in late or you know, it's okay if you're not online for a few hours. I'll cover for you. I don't care how long that has worked for you. Right now, it's not going to work. It's not. The minute that you do something out of turn, the minute that you do something you're not supposed to be doing, it's going to backfire. And it could it could possibly cheat you out of something huge in your life. Now is not the season for even uh, the smallest white line. Do not lie on any type of applications about your experience. Be your true, authentic self. You being your authentic self, being truthful and honest and putting boundaries in place is what's going to break you out of a cycle that you've been in. The lovers, the ten of cups, this is love coming into your life. The ten of cups, love, abundance, happiness, harmony with, you know, all of your relationships. It's like you're happily ever after the sun is here. This is just everything in life is good. The will, new beginnings, no more hardships, no more delays. It's luck, it's blessings, it's fortune, it's favor. 
the three of wands to me is next to the magician. That's uh, your ships are coming in. So whatever you've been manifesting, some of you, you journal, you script, you're writing out what you really want in life. It's going to happen within the next few weeks, the next few months for some of you or for a year from now, everything will be different. But you have to follow through with this. And there's something here that you have to say no to. Yep. This is the two of pentacles. So you're juggling. This literally says working multiple jobs or projects at once. It's important to have balance. Like I said, for some of you, your work-life balance is way off. Five of cups, serendipity. Everything happens for a reason. Something here, you're going to have to release being sad or regretful about something. The moon is here. I feel like something you have this illusion in your mind that if you move away from something if you or if you stay in a situation that seems safe for you which is a sellout mentality that it's just going to work yourself out later no it's not it's just going to continuously create more delays for you you you're needed to embrace new opportunities see the silver lining in something here but you really have to listen to your intuition Page of Swords. Make sure that with the Page of Swords, I feel like you're, you are being watched. But with the Page of Swords, it's, I mean, Swords is all about analysis and communication. Make sure that you're dotting all of your I's, cross, crossing all of your T's here. Review contracts and documents thoroughly. So like, remember before I was talking about being at the, at the negotiation table, some of you, you have contracts that are coming up. Make sure that everything is exactly what they say it is. I feel like for some of you, you're definitely going to get in a situation where you're going to get to the table and there's going to be something in writing in a document and it's not going to be what you discussed. Somebody is going to try, going to try you. But the Ace of Pentacles is here. So you have luck. On your side, it says new re new resources of money, time, or support, a change in job or a promotion. See, and then here's the four of wands. It's beautiful, and the six of pentacles. Yep. And I guess this is a hermit card, in which is epiphany. So you're growing a lot spiritually. You're receiving a, a spiritual inheritance in the form of a lot of security and stability. But it comes as you pass some type of test and you learn the importance of you being authentic and keeping the faith. Epiphany, it says, be a light to others. You receive answers through meditation. Yeah. Ask your angels. Go with Anne. Now is a good time for you to not hide away, but it being in hermit is just doing that soul searching and making time out for introspection. The Ace of Pentacles is here with the Six of Pentacles. So this is saying that, you know, I feel like a lot of your acts of kindness and your good deeds are going to be returned to you. You have a lot of good luck coming in and it's going to the four of um, wands here. It's going to allow you to celebrate and be celebrated. You are going to receive some type of rewards or recognition. Like I said, for some of you, this is you getting a new place. Um... I'm hearing close out deals, close out sales. So, you know, the, the end of the year, um, you may be shopping for a new car or something like that or moving into a new place. I, I do pick up on like a, a large ticket priced item here. Just make sure when you get to the table that, you know, everything checks out. But if you're worried about something working out, I do feel like it's going to work out because a lot of your good deeds are going to be returned to you. But just be careful of this mindset of oh i can't have that or a person from your past or even someone that's around you right now but they just don't have the same mindset as you coming around you right now and they could possibly block a blessing for you you need to be very very mindful of that right now something here is not as it seems and i feel like you have a deep knowing about this if you have to question someone's loyalty right now you need to keep them away from you it's it's and I mean it's okay for a lot of you to start saying it is personal. Stop telling everybody, oh, it's not personal. No, it is personal. 
because this is your life this is your livelihood this is your abundance this is you breaking generational curses this is you being true to yourself once it's very personal you're gonna have to have the courage because you are receiving help from above and look at what this card says say what you mean Say what you mean and mean what you say and unleash your creativity. Do not be tempted by any type of low vibrational energies or entities coming around you in the form of friends and family. Pay attention to the signs. Don't ignore the red flags and just let go. The day after Christmas could be very significant. December 26th. Some of you, I'm thinking some of you, you may spend Christmas alone. <laughs> some of you may spend Christmas alone. You may even travel somewhere for Christmas and you may be alone. And I feel like it's going to be one of the, the best things ever because I'm literally saying with someone that's like, I'm not buying gifts. I don't need any gifts. You are moving towards having peace. And that's okay because you don't need the stress or the pressure because of these changes that are coming in. God is really trying to prepare, I said prepare. I was actually thinking about something else, you guys. I'll be honest. My mind, when I'm doing these readings, sometimes it'll be in so many different places. I was thinking about papaya. <laughs> I was thinking about papaya because I was thinking about <laughs> I was thinking about a parasite cleanse. Maybe you need to do it. <laughs> maybe you <laughs> maybe you need to look up the papaya um, seed cleanse to to remove parasites. <laughs> Maybe you have parasitic people in your life. <laughs> you, God is trying to prepare you <laughs> for something better. And you need to make space for it is what I was trying to say. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> Seriously, you, you may want to detox your body. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard, I'm getting hot. Oh my God, stop Tori, stop it, stop it. <laughs> a parasitic cleanse. So for some of you, this is you detoxing your body as well as your environment, okay? <laughs> Which, that makes me think of something. Somebody could have tried to like attach themselves to you or bind themselves to you energetically or something. And you're just needing to detox. Parasitic cleanse here. So beware of parasites, okay? <laughs> Concern is here. I really don't know why I picked up these cards. Let's see what they say. Did something flip over? Concern. You may be concerned with something or someone is concerned with you. High honor. Someone is concerned with you being a person of high honor. I did just see the thief card. You're expected, you're expecting someone to join this journey with you or someone around you is worried about you going on a journey that could possibly lead you to love and you having this high honor status, which you are already of high honor, okay? But I feel like a decision is being made for something to end. Judication, message of concern, coffin. And once again, here, someone is thinking about you. Someone that you work with is watching you. They could be considering you for a role, but you also have someone that's watching you and they're trying to block you from something. Yeah, someone in your friend group, your family or something like that, they want you to be stuck. I also feel too that, and this is the warning, you know, things are funny, but how I just thought about parasite. Some of you have a person that is stuck, okay? Imprisonment, there's a rat there. Someone is stuck, okay? Something about their life or them is filthy. They're stuck, and I feel like this person is watching you, monitoring you. They want to um, figure out what you have going on. This person could be expecting some type of ending in their life. Their job could be ending or something like that, or they're hoping that something like that will happen for you because you have a brand new beginning here the child you have a brand new beginning here this is part of your your pathway your journey so this is yeah there's a, a strong warning here about somebody here who is paras parasitic um they're feeding off of you or they're trying very hard to feed off you they don't want you to cleanse this or whatever that is out of your energy because you're its host it's feeding off of you okay Got it. Thank you, Spirit. We got it. We got it. Okay. Let's see.
Step into your power. Okay. Go wild. That's the second card we've had that says go wild. So, yeah, say how you feel. Okay. Look, full moon in Taurus, detoxify. You could be a Taurus or there's a Taurus in your energy. You need to detox and step into your power. Taurus and Aries energy here, very strong. That definitely could be um, a masculine energy that's very set in their ways. Definitely getting someone that, like, parasitic. It's like a parasitic love. They want to feed off of you. Aries, Taurus, someone very set in their ways, very stubborn. Yeah, last quarter moon in Gemini. That's, that's where we are now with this full moon that's coming up. And this is the last full moon of the year. Clear your mind. Okay, because I feel like there's a lot of illusions being sent to your mind to block you from stepping into your power. Reflect on your priorities. Um, last quarter moon in Aquarius, full moon in Sagittarius. So we have a full moon in Sagittarius season, but this is a full moon in Gemini. But it says, see the bigger picture. Yeah, you're needing to see that your life will be very different in the next few months or a year from now if you are very um, serious about the decisions that you make in the next few weeks is what I'm getting. See the bigger picture. Once again, going back to certain things, do not settle for safe. Some of you guys, there's things being presented to you and it looks really good, but it's only going to be good temporarily. Okay. If you stay in that relationship six months, or if you, if you move in with that person, all hell is going to break loose and you're going to be stuck. Because you guys know when you get into these karmic situations, thinking that glitter is, is, is gold, you'll move in with someone or you'll get into their job or whatever. And then all of a sudden, everything will start to fall apart. And it makes it harder and harder and harder for you to get out of it. So just don't even take the risk. Don't take the chance with something that you know is not for you. You know it's not going to get you to where you want to go. Full moon in Pisces, forgive. Full moon in Taurus, detoxify you. You're going to have to forgive someone, forgive yourself, and let go. But we have here for first quarter moon in Sagittarius. Believe in your good luck and leave the past behind. So Sagittarius season is here now, and we're going to be moving into Capricorn season very soon. And it just says leave the past behind. With this full moon, you need to purge anything um, that you just don't want to take into this next season with you. Attune to the divine. A lot of Pisces energy here. Aquarius. Take a reality check, Capricorn and Sagittarius. Focus on the positive. So there's a lot of um, Sagittarius energy. That could be because we're in Sagittarius season. Sagittarius is all about alchemy, transmutation, peace, balance, harmony, um, you know, self-control, moderation. That's your daily habits. So it's um, several Sagittarius cards out here. So this season is very important. Some of you could be... Sagittarius or dealing with the Sagittarius, but it's just important for you to do things in moderation. Um, have control. Capricorn is out here a few times. Okay, so Capricorn between now, right now, be very clear about what your intentions are. Um, by the time we get into Capricorn season, I said December 26th could be very significant. So Christmas, December 26th, that will be Capricorn season. Okay, there's something that you need to make a serious decision about when it comes to your holidays, how you're going to spend Christmas. There could be something behind the scenes where someone is going to try to bait you into something. I'm hearing bait and switch. Okay, make sure you don't lose money with a business trying to bait you into something and then they switch the prices later. Um... Or even in a relationship, you know, this could be family. People bait you into the family dinner and everything else. And then they ambush you. They attack you. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Don't, don't, don't respond to the, hey, big head text messages that you get on the holidays for people who want to come in and try to sabotage anything good that you have. Um, Aquarius is here and Pisces. So by the time Aquarius and Pisces season comes, it's like February, March. A lot of things could be different. That's, that's in less than six months, okay? But right now, you need to focus on detox, like getting in this um, more masculine energy to detoxify and clear your mind because there are projections and illusions being sent to you. So, yeah, you need to relax right now and know that you are loved. Okay, two Libra cards here. Keep your heart open. Know that you are loved. Let's look at one more, and I'm going to... And breathe through the tension. This card came out a few days ago. 
Yeah. Just be mindful of how you react and respond. There's a card about reacting and responding in a deck that I have here. Let's um, see if it comes out. You have here accountability and enough. You were born enough. Responsibility is a gift of love to yourself and others. Accountability. Be accountable for yourself. This is not the time to blame everyone else for any misfortune or downfalls. Be accountable for yourself and allow other people to be accountable for themselves. Do not try to save anybody right now. I feel strongly that a lot of people really do need to learn how to be more selfish because a lot of my light workers, healers, and empaths, you guys, you keep on picking up the snake in the middle of the road, taking it home, thinking that it won't bite you, and it will. You know, if you if you see somebody stick on, pick up a cat or, you know, I don't know, a turtle, but stop picking up the snake, taking it home. Because if the snake sits there long enough and it gets hungry and figures out a way to get out, it's going to bite you. It's going to eat you whole. Okay, I don't think the, the turtle may snap, but he won't eat you. Like, just be be careful of what you are inviting into your space that can hurt you or harm you. And this comes from you understanding that you were born enough. You don't have to be the martyr. You don't have to save and help people who don't actually want to be saved. They just want to be a parasite that lives off of your energy. There it is. Radical self-acceptance. You are perceived the way you perceive yourself. There you have it. This is about your self-worth and value. If you know that you're a wife don't or a husband, don't settle for being a baby mom or baby baby's daddy or whatever. If you know that you want to be a boss, then don't don't settle for a job that you have to work nights and weekends and and holidays for. You can start a business or you can go to school and you can find something better. This is about you accepting who you are as a person. And like I said, having more pride in yourself and no longer self-sabotaging. Knowing when it's just time to let go. Yeah, misalignment. Miracles become normal once we face all of the aspects of our life in the same direction. In order for you to get in alignment, you have to first be accountable and accepting of the fact that there is misalignment. Where, what, what in your life right now is misaligned? And then we have intention and it says lacking personal direction um, begets confusion in life as a pawn to someone else's game of chess. Yeah, it's time for you to move forward and stop allowing people to treat you like they're your puppet master don't fall for the guilt um you know what dang i wish i had my phone but i was listening to a song today i forget the name of the song but i think it says something like under this fragile frame it's pride and shame a lot of you you're in between worlds you you want to take pride in yourself but you are carrying the shame of moving away from friends family jobs and other situations because it's going to put you on the the outside of everything but what you don't realize is that you're already the outsider because you're not one of them <laughs> they're trying to force you to conform to be one of them but that's not who you are so you're needed to find your own passion your own light and go on your own journey all right Let's just pull a release card or two, maybe three. <laughs> yeah, surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life and surrender to passion. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and just let it flow. See, it's something you just got to let go of, so, like let go of everything. Some of you may just decide, you know what, I'm just going to pack up. I'm seeing the U-Haul. You may just pack up and decide to just leave, and that's okay. Surrenders to setting limits, yeah. Well, didn't we just talk about this? It says, it, it is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. Yeah, and surrender your ego. Cultivate gratitude, be of service to others, and come from your heart. 
a big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. Like I said, even if you don't have it, and I know it, that kind of contradicts what I'm saying, because you always want to be in a state of gratitude. And like I said, there has to be even exchanges. You have to give out what you want to receive, but it's a difference in you being, if you practicing humility and you being a people pleaser, because here we have surrendered the habit of people pleasing. Do things from your heart, not out of guilt. That's what I, when you give, do it out of your heart. Not because you feel bad or guilty if you don't do it because you're trying to earn or maintain the liking of someone that really probably doesn't even care about you. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. And this is these are the things that's necessary for you to surrender to your complete healing. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. And look, we have here recovery. And I'm pretty sure earlier I saw improving your health. Yeah, this stress is taking a toll on you. You need to recover and improve your health. Some of you, you need to start your own, you know, health regimen or workout routine or just taking better care of yourself because you're in an energy where you're you're running on e because you're trying to carry everyone else around you and these are paras these are parasitic people they you know they don't care <laughs> 